Howdy guys, we're walking back to Late Twilight Twilight Princess. We were on the bridge in the last episode and the fire was coming forward and we were about to die. But if you push this block over... Ah! Uh, shit. Oh. Did I just let myself do that? <laughs> it's because of the intro and outro, man. I was trying to do an outro. Oh man. Howdy guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is Nintendo Capri Sun, and in the last episode we were trapped on a bridge and it was burning and the fire is coming at us from both sides and whatever we're gonna do. Well, if you push this block over here and you get on top of it, you can actually jump off the side. Oh, thank God. Man, I thought we were done for. About to be burnt to a crisp, man. About to be burnt to a crisp. Like Hyle, yo. Or what's left of it. Jeez. What the hell? I told you those Zoras were up to no good. Good lord. Oh, lucky thing we land in the little bit of water that's left here. That was a close one. We're lucky there was a puddle down below, huh? <laughs> You're telling me. Yeah, spirits. Well, maybe. I don't know. Looks like we got something over here. Let's talk to these guys. Or listen. We've had absolutely no water flowing from upstream. There's no mistaking it, something must have happened at the water source in our home Zora's domain. Yet how are we to return upstream to our home? With the way things are now, we can't even walk back there. Yeah. The open water has been faster than predicted. At this rate, Lucario will dry up. It's the race against time. Jeez. I think I can understand you better if you took that mask off. Anyway, so head for the red dot, which is pretty much... Wait, what? There's a wall blocking my way. That's no good. Well, let's head over this way, see what we got. Yeah, I remember getting stuck here for a couple of minutes last time as I kind of brain farted on what I was supposed to do. But, uh... Yeah, you want to come over here to this guy. Mm, I'm too old for this. Fire and Falby's water top land a fantastic occasion as our grand reopening at our new lake bottom location. And I'm the Mario. Nice lake. Don't lakes have more water? Did the Zoras who live up river do something? Or is it a curse from that spirit that floats around up there? Whatever. It's not like I can go up and complain. Uh. uh. What's that? A customer? Ah! It's a monster! Ah! Yeah, I guess we just go check it out, huh? Yeah. yeah, so you pretty much have to listen to that guy. Otherwise, this monster won't show up and you'll be stuck down here wandering around forever trying to find a way out. What are you doing? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's not good. What's he doing? He's calling something and it's gonna be nasty. Well, we all remember what happened last time somebody picked up one of those whistle things. He pretty much charged at me with an invincible hawk. And look at this thing. What the hell is that? Huh? That thing doesn't even have a face. It looks like it's just been blown off. Anyway, so you pretty much just want to lock on, wait for him to charge down at you, and, uh, well, I, I probably missed my chance right then and there. Anyway. Yeah, just jump on him right there, and you get the opportunity, or the job opportunity. Go ahead and get him again. There you go. He's dead. Thank you. Well, that was quite a bit easier than the other guy. Oh, well, I guess we could try killing him, huh? Oh, oh I missed a chance to finish, man. Well, maybe I didn't. I don't know. <laughs> So I've killed your master. Now you will listen to only me. Oh, Midna, what are you doing? Dude, hey, stop it. I'm your new master now. Settle down. Hey, why don't we use this guy to get us all the way to the lake's water source? Well, that sounds fun. Oh, my God. Can this get any weirder? I mean, seriously? We're taking a ride on a bird that has a blown-out face. And just... Whoa. I love the music in this segment. It's so epic. Yeah, there's a nice little Star Fox 64-esque segment here. Pretty much attached with the bird. Even this music is much like the main themes. Da, 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 da. Yep. 
Yeah, so there's really nothing to this. You just, it's pretty elementary to just follow the path. I mean, I remember actually getting... Whoa. I actually kind of screwed this up before. Like, on my practice run, I actually ran into too many of the things, and they fell right on top of it. Like, this one here's going to fall towards you. So you're going to want to go to one side and make up your mind which side quickly. Just don't hit the walls too often, or else you end up... I don't know where to go. And if you don't know where to go, just go up. Wait. Is that right? No. Oh, don't dash into it. What did you just do? Whoa. Oh. Careful now. Just don't run head on into anything. It seems like you can hit the wings a couple times and be okay. But if you run head on into something, you're dead. This is not that hard if you're if you pay attention to what you're doing. And that kinda helps. What's crazy is that this actually looks like the uh Zora's dummy too. I mean it looks the same way as when you well, I don't know about this part, but Wow, it's kinda tight corners here. Look out. Don't let anything hit you. Ah, uh, I think we found the entrance. Yay, or the exit, should I say. Looks like a keyhole. Couldn't be a more welcome sight, let me tell you. Oh. That was a little close. Well, thanks there, Mr. Faceless Bird. Upper Zora's River, we made it. Man, this just goes on forever. Okay. I hear a howling stone. Ah, we're already here. That bird turned out to be more useful than I expected. Well then, where's the village of the Zoras? Let's look for it. It's getting cold. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Now, where was that howling stone? I know I heard one. Maybe it's on the other side. Let's see what we can do here. I mean, what are the Zoras up to, anyway? The rivers run totally dry, right? I can't work like this. Well, what the hell are the Zoras doing, man? C -c cold Ugh, I missed my fur coat. <laughs> Ah, uh, nice little irony there. Yeah. I'm sure you just love to have mine. We'll dig out some hearts here. Just for the hell of it, so we'll have them. You better to have them and not need them than to need them and not have them, right? They cross the bridge here, but oops. No, I guess we can't cross the bridge, huh? Well, let's try jumping in the water then and see what we can do here. Turn off the senses, good lord. Man, it's like icy out here. So at this point in the game, it can be a little confusing. You might not know where to go. In fact, I don't even know where I'm going right now. I just hope that it's the right way, because... Because, wow. Wouldn't that be amazing if it was? This Twilight world is just so messed up. Ah, Zora's Domain. Well, we must have done something right. So I guess we made it there. Oh, hey, what's going on here? I thought it was getting colder, but who would have thought it'd be all frozen? This is Zora Village, right? Why don't I see any then? Well, anyway, let's check things out. Find the Zoras. See what the hell they're doing. Well, that explains why there's no water, because it's kind of sort of stopped up. Cheese is getting me blocked. What can I say? Ooh. Got more jumping to do. We can get up from here, but can we have time to do that? Yeah, I think it's so barely. So. Watch out for uh, obstacles here, because you want to. Be extremely careful. Like that right there. Yeah. I'm just going slow because I don't want to walk off the edge. <laughs> so, like right here. See it? <laughs> I get hit by that thing. Ooh. Yeah, this might be new again. Man, what are we climbing the Statue of Liberty here? Holy crap. Oh, man. Well, we almost made it. Let's see what we got. I don't see a Zoro to be found. There's no Zoras to be found, man. What's going on? Oh, great. More of these guys again. Just what I wanted to see. Oh, crap. That's not gonna work. Yeah, that's really not gonna work, because now we got this one back here. I'm gonna kill it. He's gonna come back to life. Yeah. Arf, arf, arf. Go ahead, bring him back. Well, hell. Okay, fine. Be that way. You wanna be that way? Chomp, 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 chomp. I was a little hungry. Nothing like a shadow for breakfast. Get over here. One of you guys. Like, 
Yes! No dying this time. No dying on me now, Mr. Messenger. Not until you give me Seth's phone number. Oh. The portal is open here, too. We can finally warp. If you want to breathe the air of the world of light for a moment, let me know. I'll take you there. Why would I want to do that? I don't know. When she first said that. Holy crap. Whoa, hey. Down! Look below the ice! I was just looking at that myself. There's spirits down there. Does that mean... Oh! Oh my god, they're everywhere! Oh, they're like locusts. Jeez. They're all just frozen in the ice. What a terrible existence. Those are the Zoras. Wow, this is really strange. What in the world happened? Find out next time, I guess, on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. See you later, guys.